now that we've established our home pitch of B flat and we've learned not only the bass line but also the melody responses, we're going to take that information and we're going to translate that into some improvisation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the notes that we've learned so far. We have our home note B flat. We have the notes from the bass line, the F and the G concert, and we're also going to use the other two notes that appear in the other part of the melody response, which is D, C, and B flat concert again. So I'm going to use the B flat home note as our starting pitch, and I'm going to play a two bar phrase, and I want you to repeat the two bar phrase back to me. Feel free to pause the video at any time if you need to figure one of these out, but we'll keep on doing a few of these and adding notes as we go. One, two, I want to do. That, that was easy we're going to go ahead and move one step further and we're not going to start on our home pitch of b flat every time but we're going to still use the same notes and we're going to still follow the same pattern where i'm going to play a two bar phrase and you're going to fill in in the response area so again feel free to pause the video go back and relearn any of these phrases as we go if we're going by too quickly for you so here we go one two me work <laughs> established a call and repeat we want to go ahead and move one step further and we're going to have a call and response now what we're going to use is the same exact notes that we used our home note of b flat our notes from the bass line f and g and our notes from the melody response f g b flat d c b flat any of those notes are fair game and this time what's going to happen is i'm going to play two measures and then i want you to reply back to me with anything that you feel, any rhythm, could be on one note, could be on two notes, could be one of the other phrases that we've already learned that you feel like relates to the phrase that we're learning now. So I'll demonstrate. I'm going to first play a two-bar phrase, and then I'm going to try to use a rhythmic element from that to respond to myself. So it will sound something like this. One, two, I want to three. <laughs> Now, if I was going to respond to that, I might say, see how we used that little eighth note rhythm to try to create some continuity between the two parts? I'll demonstrate another thing. One, two, I want to breathe. And 
if I were to respond, I might say, see how they're kind of related to one another? It's just like when we're having a conversation, we don't necessarily want to talk about lunch to one person and have them talk back to us about you know, their day at work. The two conversations aren't related. We want to try to keep similar ideas going back and forth between the caller and the responder. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to play a series of calls and you are going to improvise the responses just like I just did, trying to use some of the information that I provided to make a related statement. So we're going to use those same notes, the B flat, the F, the G, the D, the C, and the B flat. Feel free to go back and practice this a bunch of times and create a bunch of new ideas that you can use to start crafting your own improvisations in the context of this whole song. One, two, me, first. <laughs> If you feel like you've mastered that, go back and play some more responses to all the different sections where we've had calls. <laughs> 